Basically, it's a, it's a rocker switch. Now, I don't want to touch any of the... I don't want to touch the positive and the negative there. So it's just running through a 12-volt battery, 3-cell. So basically, as a test, I set up... Basically, it lights up when it's on, right? So you need to find a 12-volt a DC style with an LED. So, you can see this without... Basically, the switch comes on and powers your your stuff, okay? And the LED comes on, so you turn it off. Everything is shut off, cuts power, okay? So after a little bit of searching online, I'm just gonna lay this here. Um, basically, so if this is my my monitor and all this, your positive needs to come to the center pin. Your positive from your battery needs to go to the outer pin, as you can see right here. And your negative from your, say, monitor or whatnot, your load into there's a, there's a brass pin, right? Because you got three pins, you got two silvers and a brass. So basically, snip your negative from your battery line to your source. And, or your load I should say and tap it to the copper pin or the brass but um, if you switch these two so if you basically put your battery positive into the center and your load into the outer pin it will turn off and on the light your LED stays on all the time so basically Positive from the battery to the outer side. Positive, the positive line from your load to the center. And what that does, that will. When you turn it on, the switch will come on. And when you turn it off, try to be careful, I don't want to. When you turn it off, LED comes off and kills your power to your your monitor or whatnot in your ground station or anything for that matter I know uh, up and under here it's pretty tangly or whatnot but I do have all the power fit in through one connection so what I plan to do is mount the 5000 milliamp battery up inside there and have it wired through and have just a simple on and off switch uh, right here maybe somewhere anywhere along uh, along there so just thought I'd uh, like to show that it was pretty cool to, to finally figure it out just uh, I just did a uh, I don't mind my girlfriend there uh, I just did a little search and there's a couple of different wiring diagrams but basically I went by this one and as you can see, positive from, say, your LEDs to your center. And this is your battery, positive to the outer one. So that's what I went by. It's pretty straightforward. And, yeah, so that's about it. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And uh, hopefully for anybody who wanted to figure out or have ever thought about putting a switch on something and having it uh, lit up. That's how you do it. Well guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned and once I get this installed in my ground station and, and the new battery, I will um, show you how I got it uh, rigged up. So in the meantime, thanks for watching and uh, see you later.